All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to go over how to create a photo booth template using the program Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop is a very good skill to learn uh, just, just by wanting to design anything. Um, you can use Photoshop, Illustrator. Um, but for photo booth templates, uh, I like to use Photoshop. It's where I design the majority of my templates. And it is a paid subscription. It's, I believe, just for Photoshop, it's $20 a month. Uh, so I constantly use it, so it kind of pays for itself. Uh, but as well, I pay a little more because I use these other programs as well. Um, but first, to start off with, uh, there's this website called freepick.com. And I believe it's, it's pretty good for, uh, for anyone just looking to get some uh, free vectors to start off with. Uh, there's a paid subscription plan here if I go into pricing. It's pretty reasonable. Uh, $89.99 for 12 months, uh, $7.50 a month. Uh, so if you're doing multiple of these, it kind of pays for itself as well too. Uh, so I'm thinking of, I just made a free account and I'm more than likely going to just choose the the 12 month subscription so that I can get access to all the premium factors and It'll save me a lot of time in designing as well, um, especially in this time of year in December when holidays are are here and things get uh, uh, very complicated with uh, with uh, templates and uh, events. So next thing, let's just go back into the home, and so. Let's make a Christmas template for the month of December. So if I go up to here, vectors, uh, they already have a Christmas tab here. So we'll just find something fairly uh, basic to use. Um, let's see, right off the bat, this one looks pretty good To You can create something pretty good off of that one, uh, very minimal. Um, let's just go ahead and choose this one right here. So if I click on that, I'll just go to the free download here. And so just asking you to uh, give credit to the author, which of course you, you want to be able to uh, give them credit for it. Uh, but for the tutorial sakes, we're going to just click on free download and let that download. Just wait for that to go. Okay, this is a zip file. Just going to click on that. And there we go, right there. So I open up the folder, and right here is the JPEG. So this looks like a good uh, two by six. You can use this like a pretty good two by six layout. So let's go ahead and open that up in Photoshop. So I'm gonna just click on Photoshop here at the bottom. I'm gonna go to Create New. So with the templates I, that I already make, I have them already uh, as recents. So two by six, six by four, four by six. And these are the settings that I use for uh, two by six templates. I'm just gonna rename this uh, Christmas. This is the orientation. Uh, we wanna do, uh, let's see, CMYK color, that's for printing. Uh, RGB color that's for anything that's going to be displayed um, on the computer uh, computer screen but you know you want to make sure that it's set for printing uh, so now we'll just go ahead create and here goes our 2x6 so if I just move this to the side here I'll click and drag this image over here and so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to hold the option key from the corner here. I'm going to click and drag that out. Holding the option key will center the image. So right about there. Okay, I'm going to let go and then just hit enter. <clears throat> next thing you're going to want to do is just go and right click and rasterize layer.
Okay, so with that rasterized, I'm going to go up here to the marquee tools. I'm going to select the ellipse. And I want to isolate uh, just the Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and uh, duplicate this layer by hitting Command J to make a copy. And so let's. We'll just leave it at the copy one for now. So we'll make this one disappear. And with the marquee tool, I'm going to get right in the center of this. I'm going to click, hold shift. I'm going to drag this out, hold option. So after I've, I've held shift and, and dragged away, I'm going to hold option now to center it. So I'm going to get that as close as possible, right there, okay, then I'm going to let go. So next, I'm going to hit the mask tool at the bottom, and then I'm going to right click on the mask, apply layer mask, then I'm going to bring this back up. So now with this, with this layer, I'm going to make this invisible, and so with this layer, I'm going to zoom out a little bit rectangle tool. So I'm going to click on the outer part. Just click and drag. Drag that down to about here. So now we're just isolating the top part. So next I'm going to go do the same thing. The mask tool. Make a mask. Right click. Apply a layer. And then I'm going to reveal this part. So now we have two separate objects. Okay. So now with this, then I can just, uh, if I have this layer selected, press Command T, and I'll resize, hold Option, resize that down, and then I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Let's do, let's do about right there. Hit Enter. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to make, um, with the ellipse tool right here. Uh, if I just select any one of the any one of these colors here, so like let's say for instance this color back here. If I just clicked on this right here, and then it brings up the eyedrop tool to select a color. Okay, so it's gonna select that, hit OK. So if I zoom in a little bit. Same way that I did the selection, I'm going to click, hold shift, drag away, hold option. And so let's make this uh, about this big here. So let go. And so the stroke right now up here at the top, it's set at 15 pixels. So if I bring this down, it's going to reduce the, the width of that. If I bring that back up, so let's just leave it at 10, and then we'll close the properties. We'll do Command J on this ellipse right here. So with that one selected, I'm going to hit Command T to resize that copy. So if I click, hold Option and drag in, so then it makes a duplicate. So next I'm going to hit enter and we'll bring the bring that number down to about and let's try there. We're just having some fun with this. So next we got, so we have two ellipse tools. This one, this is the text here and if I hold shift and click on this, it selects all three of these. And so what I want to do is I want to right click on this. And I want to merge uh, these layers here. So I don't merge those layers. So it makes it into one piece now. So it's all together. And so if I double click this, you have all these uh, layer styles. So for instance, you can draw 
have a drop shadow. So if I click on that, I'll make a drop shadow of, of those shapes. And we can play with that. So if I click on that, if I angle this maybe this way, that's kind of like a target. <laughs> so we'll just turn that off. Maybe some uh, some bevel. Huh. That's interesting. So this is pretty much what I do when I design a template. So I'll just play around with a bunch of these and see what works. But you know, for this tutorial, we'll just keep it like that. Um, so I hit a cancel, and I'll just resize this down, maybe a little bit more. Hit enter. Okay, so now um, let's see. We'll create a new layer style. We'll do a rectangle, and for this one, we're going to turn the stroke off here and turn the fill on. We'll make it a dark color like this. And we're just going to make a rectangle here. Okay, so about there. And so we'll do uh, three boxes. So if I click on the selection tool, press Command J on that rectangle, hold Shift, click and drag that down. Okay. Command J to duplicate, hold shift, drag that down. Okay. So then you can select all three of these. Uh, Command T to transform them. And you can stretch these out here, like so. Or you can just bring them up this way. Maybe this is a good template for two pictures. So, because I kind of like those trees in the back. So, if I say, I think it was this one. Yeah, we'll just delete this one here. We'll just leave it two. Let's say this is a two picture style template. Um, okay, so now with all that being set up. I'm going to go to the bottom layer, right click, merge visible. So now it's all together as one template. Um, next thing, this is what works for me. Uh, if, you, if you figure it a different way, please let me know in the comments. Um, but what I've been, what I do is I go to the marquee tool here and I'll just uh, Click and drag over this box. Hit the mask tool here. So it subtracts that part, but when I click, when I press Command I, it brings back the, the artwork, but deletes that box. So now that I'm, if I select, make sure to select this uh, template here. I do the same thing as on the bottom. Let's do that again. Okay, so select that part. And then, so this time I'm just going to hit uh, delete. So it deletes that. Command D. Command D is to get rid of those uh, marching ants right there. So Command D. If I zoom out, that's it's pretty much a, a two picture template right there. Um, not the greatest, but you know, it gets, uh, gets you understanding uh, Photoshop. So then next, last step after I've done that is I want to uh, push Option, Shift, Command, S. So four buttons, it's a, it's a quick way to get to this screen right here. So Option, Shift, Command, S. So then I make sure that this is selected, PNG. Uh, make sure the transparency is checked here. And so then I'm going to save this. So if I just hit save, um, 
We can go to downloads here, Christmas, PNG. I hit save. And I go to my files here. Template is right there. If I just hit spacebar, brings up a preview. And there you go. So now this is ready for to go into Darkroom. Um, you can set up your two picture style template. You know, this is just for just to give you an idea of Photoshop, uh, a very quick tutorial on how to customize it. There's other tips and tricks like countless tools you can use for Photoshop. But for designing photo booth templates, it's uh, fairly basic and you know you can get creative with it. So hopefully this encourages you to uh, want to get into designing your, your own photo booth templates and if you have any um, comments or, or suggestions for me to, uh, to elaborate on, please let me know uh, in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.